Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Career Mode in Monster Energy Supercross 6, the official video game. Well, if you look at the screen, it says round five now. I did a couple rounds in between last time, and then the file that I was using to record got corrupted. So we're missing a couple rounds, but that's okay. We're going to jump back in. Uh, basically, the only thing that happened was it was a muddy race at A2 last time. So sloshed around a little bit, ended up getting fourth, I think, but still have a good championship lead. So today we're going to do some trainings, and then I think we're going to try to kind of mess with the AI a little bit in these races, because the race I had at Anaheim 2 was fun. And if you get in a fight with them, I feel like they fight you pretty hard. So we're going to fight them pretty hard and just see kind of how it goes today. Before we get underway, I just want to let you guys know our community Discord is starting to pop off a little bit more. We're trying to get more people in there to start chatting about these games. So please get involved in the link in the description. Head over there, share your images with us, and we'll maybe feature it on some of our social pages. And then as well, you can just discuss all these different games that we play with us and kind of come to a cons consensus on some news and information about these games and whether or not we're enjoying them. All right, so before we do some races, let's do some training because I know that uh, I have a few available. I think we still have three available. Yeah, so um, we're kind of knocking these out. I think I hit 100 stars recently, and obviously there's 150 to get, so we're working our way there slowly but surely. All right, so we're going to do the snake, which I started the last time I was recording, and we did not see any of it, but we're already on level five of it, so we've kind of knocked out quite a few of them already. And this one, I don't feel like I learned much of, of anything from doing this challenge. Uh, I said it in... The recording you guys won't see, but it's like, I wish that these trainings would actually teach us something. Like, it would be a point or a reason to feel like you're learning something about the game. And uh, I want to go back and make sure I get that so that we don't not get all the points that we need. But um, yeah, like, it's not like this is really teaching me much about line choice. Like, some of them kind of do, but then you have to check up to actually get that one down in transition. It's just that you're not learning a whole lot. So I wish that they... I don't know, would basically just make it so that the trainings mattered. Ultimately, all the trainings really do is just give you the ability to add skill points to your rider, which again, isn't the worst thing because your rider does start off pretty boring, slow, mundane, whatever, and you can upgrade your skill points so that he turns better and is faster in general. But I don't know, like if you're a first time player with this game, you're like, what is Monster Energy Supercross? I want to learn more about it. This isn't going to teach you anything about Supercross or how it works or anything like that. You're just going through these random gates and uh, picking up points, which kind of feels Tony Hawk Pro Skater-ish, but then I'm not learning any sort of thing about the gameplay physically that's helping me with it. So, I don't know. Could be better. Man, this one gives me a lot of time. This, uh, what is this, the sixth training? I already did. No, this is, would be the seventh. I did five and six. This is now seven. And this is a... Uh, a lot of time, a lot of points, but also, I don't know. Let's see how long this course is, because I don't feel like it's going to take me that much time to get that many points. Uh, maybe it will. I guess it's... Uh... Oh, there it is. I knew it. I knew there was going to be one that I jumped over because you didn't see it coming up to it. Again, that's dumb. Like, I'm going to check up and roll this jump because I think I needed to, and I didn't, but I should have rolled that one down there because now I'm not going to get enough points to three-star this. I'm going to get that and that and then we're out so i needed 50 more points and it was basically down in transition right there and even if i keep following the track there's not going to be more that i could potentially catch up to because i did do that oh is that going to count as a fail oh my gosh because i went off the track for mm. all right let's forget about those trainings and go racing here at glendale i think that this is a triple crown um uh, maybe? I don't know. But if it is or isn't, what we're going to do today with the AI to kind of mess with them is if I start pulling away from them, I'm just going to slip back into the field a little bit and like kind of start just messing with them generally. Like just start pushing them high in corners, taking them out, whatever you want to call it, so that we can have a little bit of fun with them. Because I'm kind of tired of these races feeling like uh, we're just getting away and nothing's really happening. And... The AI is on the hardest difficulty. I, I, I don't know how to put it any more simpler than that. And there's still just like, I'm just slowly rolling through this rhythm section, barely clearing jumps, doubling my way through. I'll get uh, get Christian Craig to AP. But um, yeah, like the AI ain't doing nothing, man. So we're, we're going to make them, we're going to make them kind of work for it here. How about Cade? AP and Cade going at it for the lead. Seen that battle once, seen it a hundred times. Oh, we're not going to get the finish line jump. That's not good. So now we're going to lose even more positions. We got all kinds of people going by. Carnow, there's Bogle, there's AC. Kind of forgot Bogle's in this game. That's kind of cool. He's been grinding MX bikes lately, people. 
Let's see if we can triple to the inside and make the pass. And we might actually have ourselves a bit of a race here. These guys are working for it now. But I think as soon as we get to the whoops and the other rhythm section leaving the stadium, yeah, these guys, they can't get to those inside ruts for some reason, and I can't double out of the corner for some reason either. But, uh, yeah, AP just taking off with this lead right now, man. He's gone. So let's try to close it down. I wonder if we could jump up onto that second tabletop from the first tabletop. Just push Cade Clayson out of the way. Sorry, buddy. I think if I go inside here, I could triple in, but we're just going to go outside anyway. Easily triple. Easily triple. Nope. Psych. Not easily. And then just double the rest of the way. Triple here. Ooh, didn't quite get it. A little bit short. All right. Let's go run Captain America down over here because him and his mustache are flying free from the field. I almost want to jump out to that uh, single right there onto the start straight. Let's go run AP down. All right, it took me less than a lap and we've caught him and he just went flying all around the track and is having a good time. So now we're going to slow back down again, wait for him to catch up because he just lost a ton of time. And we're just going to roll in through the rhythm section. We're just going to sit right in front of him, slow the pace down, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Oh, just trying to run it in on him and he just absolutely skirted away in the corner. Just, uh, we'll push Kate off the track. He'll have to deal with that tough block. Uh, no, Malcolm, no. How do they gain like unrealistic speed compared to me? That's what I want to know. AI is uh, over-programmed a little bit there. They're really good on that start straight though. I'll tell you what, they pull away from me there. That's where AP was gaining a lot of time on the first lap. Uh, a little bit short, still triple into the corner. Nice, nailed it. Double and super cross triple. And then AP started sucking like from here all the way until I passed him because he misses that rut there. Still gets a good line from the outside, but then not very good lines into this first corner. Gains speed, unrealistically so, because it's AI. <laughs> and then just slowly block past him. Bunching technique! Technique! <laughs> just completely stop him coming into the corner. All right, so triple in. Triple again. Triple again. Triple again. Oh, we got it. And then we'll... Uh, technique. Technique. Yep, just just, just follow me through, buddy. It's okay. Slow down. No, you don't, you don't need to be going fast. You don't need to be going... Hey, Malcolm! Malcolm, come back. See, what the, what's that speed gain they get? Like, just randomly coming into this corner... They just pick up so much more speed. Okay. Final lap of, I think, a triple crown race. We're not sure yet. AP, Malcolm, and I going at it. Malcolm is going to leave the door open, so we'll just scoot by there. Oh, that's a that's a tough block. That's not the super cross triple. Oh, don't crash. All right, we're going for a bit of a ride here. It's all right. He's going to miss the inside rut. We'll gain some time back. Easily done. And then it'll suck right here, so we'll just uh, we'll up, up, up around the outside. All right, almost quadded right there. And then uh, we'll just we'll slow it down, keep keep it tidy. All right, let AP go back by. Who do I want to maybe give this second place to? That's that could be the fun part. Well, AP is just gonna crash it away himself, so we'll double, 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 double. Oh, and here comes Malcolm. Well, actually, I should probably try to sneak away here because these guys are going to out-drag me on the start straight. So we'll block Malcolm coming up to this thing down the backside and watch. Watch him catch me. Fifth gear. Can't go any faster. And I blew the corner. Oh, no, I gave it to him. Dumb mistake. Didn't get the inside right. Wow, Chase Sexton got all the way up here too. It is a triple crown, though, so we get to fight right back, and we're going to start just inside of Malcolm here. Oh, I tried to jump the gate. Didn't work. Still a pretty good start. Going to just try to out-drag him into turn one. Nope, we'll let him all go. And just uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I need whole shots. I need to pad the stats, so I'll take that. And uh, let's see how much we can hold him up. Oh, look at Webb's up here this time. My arch nemesis can battle him. Although, here comes Justin Brayton trying to steal the show. Oh my gosh, these the AI are terrible on that triple. They just go left, right to death. All right, Brayton's going to triple in, but we're both going to miss that. Try to triple again. This doesn't work. And just bounce our way through. So here comes Webb again. 
We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna push you guys out. No, web up up up. Come on back. There we go. And we let a lap. Cool. Alright, so let's start messing with him. Push him up to the top of the berm here. Block him a little bit. You know, just just some rough riding. We're not trying to take him out. I am not going to try to do what Eli Tomac did to Ryan Dungey and push him off the track. I mean, that's just rude. Justin Brayton back in the mix. We're going to block him right here. Up, up, up. Pardon me, sir. Up, oh, thumb down. I don't think Brayton actually pushed me down. I think I just crashed in the rut by myself. There goes Aaron Plessinger flying off the track. Ayers Chiz. We got Sexton up there. Look at Carnow hanging on third. Like, knows what's going on or whatever. My guy. All right. This time the AI got the triple a little bit cleaner. We're going to try to sneak around the outside of Logan here. Mm, a little bit short. A mm, little bit short. And then it's just a whoop section from there. Try to triple out. A little bit short. All right. This time it's Webb trying to sneak away. Malcolm's still up here. So Malcolm's definitely in for it. Fighting for the triple crown win. Plessinger is a little bit buried. As Brayton jumps off the track. Sexton's trying to shove him in the burn. Maybe Sexton is part of the plan. He's trying to be toxic. Oh! Cross jump Carl. And we're going to triple to the inside to pass Brayton. Done. I think that's the first time I've cleared that super cross triple this entire race. And let's round down Coop. Look at that. Coop actually jumping the triple straight as an arrow. No problem. Uh oh. Push him to the outside. Push him to the outside. How did he still triple that in? That was that was clutch right there from Coop. We're gonna go two, two, three, three to try to jump by him and do so. And then just uh we'll we'll just take our time in the sand, Coop. We'll just just taking our time. Taking our time, buddy. There you go. Go ahead. Go over there. Have a fun ride. We'll see you next week. Did he just get stuck up there? Uh, he's, he's still like enduro manning over the bales as we're going to block Brayton into this corner. Oh, Brayton giving me the juice. Okay. We got ourselves a fight. I know Brayton has watched some of my videos, so if he's watching this, he's probably stoked that we're actually going at it. Oh, crossing over. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to push you in the tough blocks. We're just, we're just trying to play fair here. You know? Oh, not going to get that super cross triple, though. Uh, that one hurt. That did not feel good. All right, now we got a lot of people mixed up here. Wait, what happened? Where is Brayton? Did he go down, too? Barsha took the lead. Whoa, Barsha crossing over. Just going to block you right there, sir. There we go. Barsha crossing over. Is he going to try to take me out? I say, not today, sir. I'm going to cut back under and put you into the tough blocks. <laughs> Just being the most toxic rider in the game. Oh my gosh. So we'll double in. Double again. Double and triple. Nope. Just double. Double our way through. You know. Easy. Easy to beat the hardest AI in the game. Just doubling your way through. Oh, I can't I can't do it to Brayden. I I can't do what I did to Coop. Whoa! Okay, that's a bit of a ride. Where are we going? Get back on the track, yo. Okay, now we're actually definitely in trouble here, because uh this is white flag coming up, and I've got a lot of riders to pass in a short amount of time. Give me a push, Dean. Ugh. How am I 13th? I got up in 18th, and I didn't pass anybody. It says I'm in third. No, okay, so now I'm in 19th. Why did it score me in 13th just now? This game is bugged. This guy's going off the track all over the place. Okay, we'll push Joey out. What is Eli Tomac doing so buried in the field? He's so good at Glendale normally. Why is Aaron Plessinger invisible? Oh my gosh, the riders are everywhere. Oh my goodness, how did I not go down right there? I landed on Cooper Webb's shoulders and then went for a bit of a ride. I think we're screwed here. I think uh, at best I can hope pretty much is, uh, what, like a tenth? These guys are all over the place. I don't even know how I got up this far in that rhythm section. But then Eli's going to try to pass me back on the inside. And they're so good on this straightaway. Yeah, who won that? Chase? Two more spots? 
Two more spots. Ninth. Okay. We're still in it with a shot. Roxon won. Roxon over Barsha, Ferranis. Malcolm is in a pretty good spot here. Uh, I am second overall somehow, but six back of Malcolm. So I need to... Okay. New game plan. Mess with Malcolm. Final race time. Got to beat Malcolm by six points. So let's put some people between me and him. Let's do this. We're off and running. Webb and Roxon with some good starts here. And uh, I did not see Malcolm. I know he was just left of the box. Another whole shot, though. I'll take it. Two for three tonight. All right, Malcolm is eighth. So do I just try to take off and run with this thing, or do I go back and mess with them even more? I feel like I want to go back and mess with them even more, but it might screw me over from being able to try to win this race. Triple in. Triple again. Triple again. Oh, Malcolm's now seventh. Need you guys to come through for me back there. Barsha, Marv. Okay, let's go mess with Malcolm. Let these guys go. Go ahead. Go, Barsha, Marv. Keep going. Go ahead. Dean. Nice. Okay. Now Malcolm now six. There's Chase. And there's Malcolm flying into the corner. And we're gonna just gonna we're just gonna block him. He's not gonna be able to do the finish line jump and almost get landed on. <laughs> Take him out. No way that worked. I just split two riders and took Malcolm out in between the two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I gotta go try to win because he is dead last. So I made I made uh <laughs> I made the math simpler, but now I have to actually go try to win or beat him by enough points. But then there's someone else that might get in there. I can't believe I split two riders and took him out. That is, that's toxic. Okay. AI is terrible through these couple rhythm sections and terrible in the whoops. So pretty much from like between the two triples all the way to, oh my gosh, how did those guys just turn in the air? Uh, all the way until the over under bridge, basically. These guys are all terrible. Not the riders specifically, but just the AI. And I'm pretty terrible too, to be fair, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, take advantage here. Is Malcolm still like dead last? No, he is not. There's a Honda rider back there. Let's see if we can pull away enough to like look back there and see. So AP was up here. I know Barsha had some good overalls. Frandis, Frandis was up there too, wasn't he third? So, uh, He's in the mix. So Malcolm looks like he's gained about six spots. So we're beating him uh, in overall score right now. But I want to go win this thing. Oh my gosh. Barsha and Ferrandis almost just killed each other. So I will take second place because of that. And I'll uh, I'll handily take that. Thank you guys very much. And did the leader almost go down? Marv almost went down. So let's go run him down. And somehow, some way. We're going to find our way up into almost the lead after a lap after putting Malcolm down. Well, a lap and a half. So I'm going to have to look back over the finish line jump and see how far he's made it up and see if I'm going to have to go mess with him some more. And it's not personal, Malcolm. It's just, you know, I need the win. Don't see a Husqvarna there. So he's either moved up a lot or he's further back. Not over the finish. Yeah, I didn't even see him. I'm trying to look and just completely blowing this rhythm section. That's all right. From here until the over-under, though, it's pretty easy to be faster than the AI. All right, time has expired. We caught the rear fender of Marv. And let's see if we can just scooch right on by him. Both going to go to the outside together, but triple in, triple again, triple again, triple again. Marv actually got it pretty good, as he does normally. I mean, Marvin is goaded, so... But uh, we're going to work together and pull away from the field. I do not see Malcolm in the top 10 yet. Uh, looks like he's maybe like 15th or so. Saw a Husqvarna over there and Dean's still in 6th. So it couldn't have been Dean. Although we got some stacking up after the over-under bridge going on here. And I don't like that. That's going to allow Malcolm back in there. All right. So we pulled away pretty easily on the last lap. And we're going to take this win because I do not see Malcolm inside of the uh, top 10. So look at that. Win in Glendale by doing some... Unorthodox tactics, but I'll take it. Another win added to the tally for 2025 Supercross or whatever it is. All right, Malcolm was able to get back to 11th. Kudos to him. He still gets second, but dubbing up right there. 291 gets it done in Glendale. Uh, I want to know if anyone's ever had a higher score like, than that and still been able to win this race, but that is hilarious. Dang.
Looks like you've suffered an injury. Injuries can happen after falling several times during the events, negatively influencing your physical form. Don't give up because the best way to recover from an injury is by completing a workout session. Well, karma for me. Get an injury from taking out Malcolm Stewart, apparently, or just crashing too many times because I'm an idiot. Uh, what did I just complete here? I know uh, it looks like laps without falls. So I did enough laps to not fall, but then fell enough to get an injury. Uh, what is the injury, actually? It should say uh, strained back. Remaining weeks, I got one week left to fix that. But my rider shape is still pretty good. I mean, I have a strained back because I'm absolutely carrying the series right now. It's not even close. Uh, skill tree. We got some points we can spend. Let's knock another one of these out. We only have three more to get. And then let's do some some of these trainings, workout sessions, all that stuff, and call it a video. I think that was enough with the triple crown, so let's do these ones. Let's start with our workout section sessions, session, whatever you want to call it, to get our rider to feel a little bit better. All right, let's go find shape first. So go look for the S. Looks like it's over here on this ramp thing. And then we have a whip location mark which if i remember before is in a spot that we can't do anything about it because there's supposed to be a ramp and there's not so that's exhilarating all right so we got a we got the p and where is the e the e is it on the ramp or is it no it's right here in this corner nice got it oh nope we didn't get it that's okay we'll just uh do one of these little pirouettes right here there we go all right, and then up the hill, and then again, the marked location for the whip is right there. But I don't, I don't know how you can whip right there. There's nothing there. All right, so we'll get H. Then let's go do a backflip down the hill. I wonder if maybe I can whip off of like this little hill right there, like going up the hill. We'll, we'll try it. We'll come back and do it. So this is the best spot to try a backflip, though some speed and flip down the hill we've done that before so we'll get the uh, backflip marked off oh put me back up top darn still down here all right so i'm gonna i guess try to make it work to whip on this dam on a jump that isn't there set game milestone all right here goes nothing we're gonna just come up here and just go yeah and see if I got sideways enough. Did it count? Nope. Uh, what about using this rock to whip? That was considered a whip. Did it count? It literally showed that I whipped. It had like the little indicator or something like that. Is that what it's supposed to be? Am I supposed to literally jump off of that rock? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. If this is really how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, there's a whip indicator. Okay, didn't land it. I don't I don't even know if I'll be able to land it because it's like you're just launching to nothing. And I don't know how big the whip has to be. Okay, that is a big enough whip. Give it to me. Nope, not in the marked location. Okay, so that's not correct. And then, yeah, it's just, it says right here, but there's no ramp. Like, I guess there's supposed to be a ramp, but there's not one. Is there one, like, behind this house, behind this thing over here? Is there a ramp? Nope, not a ramp over the dam that I can see, at least. What about if we just, like, jumped near the dam and threw a whip? I mean, I just did one, and it didn't count. Like, I pretty much jumped off the dam and did a whip. Didn't count. Can you actually clear the water from here? Never actually tried it. Oop. That might be a fun challenge to try someday, but uh, couldn't do it right there. Whatever. We didn't get it done, but we'll upgrade our guy a little bit. Two out of three shape. Um, no physical shape reset. Sick. Oh, no. Injury reduction minus one. So now we're not injured. All right. Next up, we got our trainings, which we failed the snake thing before. Well, we'll do seven, eight, and nine, hopefully right now. Okay. So it tripped me up last time that there was the dang purple indicators in between a jump at the top of the hill. Is it red? I guess it's red because it's yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, red. Yeah, so they're red indicators. They look kind of purple from afar, but I guess that's just mixing with the uh, black. And then right here, yep, just good spot for it. You're learning a lot right there. Definitely know how to be a better rider in the game because of that. And then this one, there isn't one in transition, like I thought. 
then there's one here and one here, one here and one there. And we got enough points, but we'll get those 50 extra and done deal. All right, second of three attempts. I feel like there's gonna be one in the middle here. There's not actually. There is one right there, but if I had jumped to that, I might've missed it. And then over here to the berm, to the yellow marker, to the green marker, to the window, to the wall. Yellow, red, green, and yellow again. All right, so we'll slice through here. Red, green, yellow, green, yellow, red, yellow. Cool, enough points. Actually, more than enough points. It always gives you at least 50 extra points, which I think we determined if you missed the green one, that gives you the 50 extra. I don't know. All right, so I can already tell that uh, this is where that ramp is supposed to be to do a backflip, but it's not there. And our our, uh, <laughs> we're trying to get back in shape. So they don't maximize our shape because that ramp doesn't exist. All right, so we're going downhill now. Can't crash, can't go off the track, so we're just gonna, just gonna tiptoe in our Jordans. Down the hill, through the markers, no problem. Looks like we can step on, step off to this. We got some, uh, some red markers back to back, giving us those extra points. Yellow and yellow, and then a green one to the outside berm here. See, this one actually feels like it's showing you some racing lines, which I'm, I'm kind of keen on a little bit, but I'm sure at some point it'll be like, nope, you missed it. You're supposed to check up and not hit this jump like that. But there we go. Done deal on all of these trainings. So all that is left then is coach quests, which I don't even know what we have available. Did I do enough whips? Let's see. Ready? Uh, we did trial, trial the masters. Okay. So this is races completed. We did 15 races, but we didn't reach the podium enough yet. So we need one more podium for trial. The champions did all the collectors. We need to do more whips, only 21 whips in career mode. So far we've done more scrubs than we have whips, but let's do trial the masters. Pretty simple. You gain time back in these by going through the, the waypoints, checkpoints. Um, so you just got to stay on course and not deviate too much because then you'll lose that time and never get it back. We'll jump down in here. Thankfully, I didn't crash right there. Looks like we got a turn. I don't think I've failed one of these yet, but now that I say that, knock on wood, I shouldn't have said that. I'll probably find a way to fail this one. Looks like we're going left up here. This is actually that one race that we did backwards, I guess, because I, I totally missed turning off of the off the road here once when we were going up against Jeremy. Oh, I don't know if I've taken this trail yet. Oh, no, I have. Yeah, because it just leads right back up to the track over here. Simple enough. All right, we got 13 more waypoints left, and we just killed a bunch of time slowly rolling up that uphill. Apparently, I should have went to the berm for that. We're going to get it right back with uh, cooking through some of the camp here. Nope, don't go down. Okay. At least it's going to give me the opportunity to gain some time back by going through these ones again. Okay, so we'll turn. Don't lose that time. Do not keep going down too much on me. It's actually going to be kind of close because I totally boofed it. Oh, no, I've really boofed it. He's gaffed it. Got to get over the fence. Nope, it's over. The dream is done. We're going to have to do it again. Fortunately, or dumbly, you can just do it over again. So now I can just not only follow the waypoints, but I can pretty much follow my tracks to all the wrong places I went because my rut is there from before. All right, this time we got way more time in hand coming down this hill so I can even blow this again and probably still make it, but we're going to try to not blow it. Totally caught me off guard. I didn't even realize that's like a line is to jump over this with uh, the back of that berm. But now we have completed it. All right. One final thing we're going to do before we're done is knock off a couple more of these skill tree things. And all we have left now is the rock, our level six physical resistance. Uh, Rider wise, I think fitness, we yeah don't have a back injury anymore, but our fitness is down on the back. So got to be careful seat bouncing, but we'll be all right. So that's going to do it for this video, triple crown racing and some trainings and stuff like that. But we'll be back next week with uh, more racing in this game. We'll do a three and I think uh, Texas is after that or something like that. Either way, 
Uh, we're up 22 points in the championship, having a good time messing with the AI and hanging with you fine people. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. So long for now.